Hey, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and this video is literally the third video I've made about green tent and display issues on this channel this year. So I guess that makes it a little trilogy, I guess. But yeah, the previous two videos were uh, revolving OnePlus smartphones and green tent issues on them. Uh, but this video is exclusively about the few reported cases of display issues for the iPhone 12. Okay, now spoiler. This isn't really like a big deal. My unit is free of issues. I asked a couple of people who own iPhone 12s. Their units are free of issues. And not a lot of cases have been reported regarding this. This is not like a widespread issue. So that's sort of a sigh of relief. And the scale of this issue is nothing compared to the likes of you know, OnePlus devices. Now, if you want to replicate this problem, just to check if your device has any issues, uh, you need to go to the software update page in dark mode and change the brightness at different levels of brightness and if your device has issues you should be able to see some weird spots green spots on the screen or you know some weird green haloing green tinting basically uh if it's not there congrats your device is basically free of these issues but yeah, nevertheless i tried replicating this and did not find any issues whatsoever no flickering no green tinting but i went the extra mile and did the same tests which i did with my old oneplus 8 pro to check for any you know premature burn-ins or you know banding and all that stuff didn't find any so that was a sigh of relief and i don't even have pwm flickering or anything like that so my unit is all fine and most people's units should be fine as well uh, I was really conflicted when I actually first read these reports uh, because I really trust Apple's color calibration and their display calibration and I've had a fantastic time with the iPhone 12's display. I've had a ton of fun watching content. The display is brilliant. It has excellent colors, just the right enough amount of contrast and it's a great experience to consume media and watch movies and TV shows. Now, if you don't want to take my word for it, AGTV Test has made a dedicated, you know, review kind of a thing uh, where he just uses professional grade tools to, you know, check the luminance and colors and calibration and all that. And his analysis suggests that the iPhone 12 display, the calibration, the gamma, the white point, all that stuff rivals those of the Sony $10,000 Sony HDR monitoring monitors. So, you know, that was really great. And the actual display is pretty great too. And hopefully your iPhone 12 doesn't have any of these issues, but if they do, uh, apparently Mac rumors says that Apple is sort of working on a software update fix and uh, authorized service centers won't repair it. They would just tell you to wait for the software update. But yeah, if you bought your iPhone in the last two week window, and if you're still eligible for a replacement, either through your Apple store or if you're in India, the online Apple store, maybe ask for a replacement because since most units are fine, your replacement unit should be fine as well. But yeah, if your return window is closed, maybe hold out for that software update and that should fix things. Also, one more thing which was stated in one of those complaints was that, you know, true blacks aren't as black, which I guess means that uh, the OLED pixels don't turn off, especially when watching HDR content and I don't think that's really an issue. True black is zero nits and that's when your OLED pixels turn off. It's completely absolute darkness. There is nothing in there and that true black is mostly exhibited during credits, that black background or tile cards and all that stuff. That's when, you know, you get to that zero nit level. Most scenes have darker regions called shadows and those shadows certainly have some amount of detail in them. They're not zero nets. They're certainly just above zero nets. And those details will need to be preserved and are preserved by the OLED display of the iPhone 12. And that's why it's not pitch black, black. And if you just really love that contrast, if you want more than desired contrast, if you just want to turn those pixels off anytime there is shadow detail, that's basically black crush. Another one of those big, display issues so the iphone 12 does not have black crush as simple as that and these are the small details in which the iphone 12 display excels at and this is the first time you're ever getting an oled display under a thousand dollars like i said previously on a brand new iphone and the display was one of the main reasons why i bought the iphone 12 at all and it absolutely delivers in fact combined with this excellent display and the excellent set of stereo speakers which output spatial audio and the rich content library in Apple TV with the biggest library of HDR content, I guess 
the iPhone 12 Ultra was the perfect, probably not perfect, uh, the best media consumption experience to the point that I would say it's a theater in your pocket. Okay, maybe I went a little off track on this video about display issues, but yeah, I wanted to have some substance in there. And if you own an iPhone 12, you should be really happy about the display you're carrying with you right now. And yes, not having 120 hertz is kind of meh, but personally for me, I don't play that many games and iOS's animations are pretty smooth enough. So not really a big deal for me, but definitely I'm gonna get some FOMO when the iPhone 13 Pro has 120 hertz, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. And yeah, this is probably the last video I'm ever gonna make about green tint. It's talking about green tint and display. It's, it's just so exhausting. I'm, done, I'm actually done. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you want more content like this. And catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.